All right, what we're going to be doing today is looking at how to factor a polynomial with four terms. Now, ideally, you're going to want to attempt factor by grouping first because that's the easiest procedure for doing that. All right, however, factor by grouping does not always work. All right, so when it doesn't, you have to have a backup plan. All right, my suggestion would be to use the rational root theorem and allow that to make the factoring a lot easier for you. If you use the rational root theorem, you can use it to generate a list of possible roots, and then you can apply some synthetic division, all right, that's going to break it down hopefully into a trinomial, and then you're going to be able to continue to factor from there. Okay, here we have a polynomial expression uh, with four terms. As you um, might attempt to factor it by grouping to begin with, you can see that an x squared would come out of these terms, a 2 would come out of these terms, and I will not get matching uh, inside terms there, so factor by grouping is not going to work. All right, in which case, I am going to apply the rational root theorem. Okay, the rational root theorem says that if we take this ending constant and we let that be p, and we take the leading integer coefficient, which in this case is a 1, and we let that be our q, then we should be able to generate all of our possible roots with the equation x equals plus or minus p over q. All right, now for the ones that we do, we're going to stick with um, a q of 1 because once you start adding, you know, this, you know, maybe a coefficient of 2 or 3 or 4, the number of possible roots goes up very, very quickly and makes the problem very, very difficult. All right, so uh, p over q is going to give us all the factors of 4 over all the factors of 1. Over 1 is not going to have a bearing on this at all. So I just need to look at my factors of my 4. Possible factors would be plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 4. Okay, now I have to find one of those that actually turns out to be a root or a 0 to the function. So I'm going to apply synthetic division. I'm going to randomly pick one of those. All right, um, let's just try maybe say negative one. Let's try and see if it works. So negative one, I want to see if this is going to be a root. So I'm going to put negative one in uh, my little box for my synthetic division. I'm going to take the coefficients and write them down. So I'm going to have a one, five, an eight, and a four. If you recall synthetic division, this 1 is going to come straight down, and then I'm going to multiply. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. We always add going down. 5 plus a negative 1 is 4. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. 4, 8 plus negative 4 is 4. 4 times negative 1 is a negative 4. 4 plus a negative 4 is 0. Now, it looks as though I got lucky on this one. All right, as long as you get a remainder of zero, then you know that you have found a root. So that's what we're looking for, is a remainder of zero. Now, <clears throat> had this been any other number other than zero, then that would not have worked, and I would have had to try positive one. And if that would not have gotten a remainder of zero, then I had to try positive two. You have to keep trying each one of these factors until you come up with a remainder of zero. All right, now what this does is this tells me then that negative one is a root. If negative one is a root, then a factor of that polynomial expression would be x plus one. Okay, negative one is a root. And from that, I can come up with the factor of x plus 1. Now, I have to come up with the rest of the expression, and I'm going to get that from my synthetic division. If you recall, this is your uh, plane constant term. This will be an x term. This will be an x squared, and then an x third, so forth and so on down the line. So the rest of this will be an x squared plus 4x plus 4. All right, so I have factored my original four terms in my polynomial down to a simpler expression that has been factored. I factored into x plus 1, and then x squared plus 4x plus 4. Now, you need to continue. All right, this I'm not going to factor anymore. 
I'm just going to bring it down. This is our standard trinomial, and if we get lucky, this is going to factor again. All right, let's see. I think I, this will be a guess and check type factoring on trinomials. I'm going to take factors of 4, which would either be a 1 and a 4 or a 2 and a 2. I'm going to use a 2 and a 2 so that I get my middle term of a positive 4x. That's going to make this be a positive. That's going to make this a positive. Okay, now I have completely factored this. I can no longer factor it anymore. This is my factored answer to my original polynomial expression.